Hi guys, today we're gonna read Guacamole by Jorge Argueta and Margarita Sada. And this is my daughter Mia and she's gonna help me read today. Today, I'm going to make guacamole. I say to my mother and father and my little brother and sister. They stare at me with their big eyes. They remind me of the green avocados in the basket on the red kitchen table. To make a delicious guacamole, you that you will that will leave your mother and father and your little brother and sister begging for more. You need four big avocados, like green precious stones, and two fresh limes. Big shiny ones, round as crystal marbles. You need some cilantro leaves, green as four leaf clovers. You need salt, and that's all. First, Put on your chef's apron. Mine has balloons on it. With my apron and its balloons and little bird, I feel like a great chef. And I am one as I sing and dance around the kitchen. Guacamole is so easy to make. Then I get my favorite dish. It's decorated with a garland of little red flowers and green leaves shaped like hearts. I feel like dancing, so I dance with my dish with its little red flowers and heart-shaped green leaves. The avocados are waiting for me, so big and green and beautiful. I squeeze them gently with my hands and can tell that they are soft and ripe. With their shiny, tender skin like leaves in my garden after the rain. I wash them in the fountain of the sink and then, dancing and singing, I put them on the red kitchen table. Now it's time to cut the avocados, one by one, very slowly. Cut them in half. In the center of each avocado, you'll find a little ball, round as a small world. It's smooth and slippery, like a slide. If you grab its pit too hard, it will slip. If you hold it too gently, it will fall. Don't throw the pits out. They are the seeds from which avocado trees are born. Take a spoon, not too big, not too small, the spoon is like a tractor that you will use to scrape the avocado flesh. Scoop out all the tender flesh of all four avocados. Put the green avocado flesh in your dish. Then empty avocado skins look like wash bowls. Don't throw them out. Set them aside with the pits. Now add salt, not too much. Sing to the salt as you shake it, so that little spatters of white drizzle fall like rain on the green avocado. Salt, salty, salt, from my salt shaker. Salt goes in first. Now, with your tractor spoon, stir up the green avocado flesh. Move your spoon up and down. The avocado is getting softer. It's becoming guacamole. Take a little branch of cilantro and wash it in the fountain of your sink. It looks like a little tree. Wash it well, shake it off, and sprinkle water around the kitchen. Tear the leaves off your tree one by one and add them to the avocado. Mmm, cilantro smells so good. Mmm, such a fresh, such a green smell. Now, take the limes, which are also green and perfectly round. Take them over to the bath in your kitchen fountain. Cut the limes in half, carefully, one by one. You are also going to squeeze them with your hands. Over the avocado, waiting in its dish. 
so soft, such a fresh smell, such a greeny green smell. Their sour little lime smell makes my mouth water. The lime peel is soft and juicy juice comes out. Don't get it in your eyes, it stings. That juice that comes out like tears from the limes. Ooh, the sour river of limes smells so good as it falls on the greeny green of the avocado. I laugh. I laugh river laughs. I laugh green laughs. I laugh lime laughs. I laugh guacamole laughs. Little pears that look like eyes will fall from your hands. They are lime seeds. Pick out the little per pearls that fall into the avocado with your fingers. Don't throw them away. Lime trees could grow from them. Don't throw the peels out either. In your hands, they feel like balls whose air has leaked out. Put them with the seeds and the avocado skins. Stir everything together again, up and down with your tractor spoon. Stir it well, then taste it. Sprinkle on more salt and stir, stir around and around. Sing and dance because food tastes better when you sing and dance. Yummy, yummy, what yummy guacamole. Now everything is green and juicy. It is in dish with red flowers and green leaves like hearts. Now the guacamole is ready. Before you sit down to eat, take all the seeds and skins and peels into the garden. Plant them so your mother earth so that more avocados will grow. More lime trees, more colors, more flavors. Now the time has come to call your mother and your father and your little brother and sister to heat up the beans and tortillas and to sit down and enjoy the guacamole that tastes so fresh. Yummy guacamole, so greeny green, as pure as love. The end. Bye.